Hello my lovelies, today's video is all about my new Cartier bracelet and I wanted to do this review, this thoughts about the new love because I've done also a review of my first Cartier piece, the Panther watch and that video has gotten quite a lot of views so I thought you might be interested, it might be helpful for you guys to hear why I chose what I chose, process, the process, and cons everything like that so if you love jewelry then keep on watching about three four years ago now i've made a decision to only collect um pieces of jewelry that are solid gold solid silver whatever and i wanted to build my core jewelry collection very slowly but i wanted what i wanted if that makes sense and i wouldn't settle for anything less and that has taken me a few years but you know slowly i'm getting there and the reason why i because before i would buy fashion jewelry all the time but it all tarnished it all was either trendy or like it would just get completely ruined and those pieces never lasted long enough the exception to the rule is some of my Majuri and Ana Luisa pieces that are gold plated and they've got a bit of a thicker gold plating those are still with me to this day I still enjoy wearing them I would prefer to maybe get ones that are solid gold but those are the exception to that rule but I thought I want pieces that really uh, bring me joy and what I found out about uh, after getting this Cartier watch is that it brought me enormous joy more than bags more than clothes jewelry brought me the most joy because I could always put it on even if I'm wearing literally my sweats I do that <laughs> uh, because it just dresses up a look a little bit it just makes me happy so that's why I thought I wanted to build that jewelry collection and um, the bracelet that I've chosen was a plain gold regular size love i've got the new lock system um that i believe they released like last year um or maybe this year but i would say that i've watched thousands of videos on youtube before buying this bracelet and every single person said that this locking mechanism is a nightmare because the bracelet would fall off them and um, it would be loose uh, it would like clink and I'm here to tell you that with this new one there's no there's no clinking there's no loose things the essay that put it on me he put it on me it wasn't even I was like press it more and he was like no no it'll be fine it's completely fine the new locking system is so much better so it's never like I haven't touched it since he put it on me and I sleep with it, I do everything with it and it's not even loosening up a little bit. It's just completely, completely fine. So I think they've done a great thing now with this locking system and I've heard that you can also, if you've already got a love base, then you can bring it and bring it in, into Cartier and they will do something like, I don't know how they do it, but they will exchange the locking system for you for the newer one so if you're interested definitely ask your essay or go into a store uh, for them to do it for you it will take a long while I think it will take a couple of months but they will do it for you so that is the great thing about this new model one con that I was always concerned concerned about is that gold is quite a soft material so um, it just it does scratch and when I say I'm super careful, I'm super careful with it. I've had it for a few weeks now and I do have some, quite a lot of hairline scratches at the bottom of the bracelet. At the top I've got one, like a bigger scratch that I don't know how happened, but overall I haven't clunked it into a wall or done anything like that so my thinking is it's probably from me just wearing the clothes like wearing the clothes and the clothes rubbing against it so it is a sensitive material I don't like it because I like the bracelet to be very shiny and uh, so that is one thing that kind of pains me a little but I'm okay with it I know this will get 
really beaten up over the years and I just I don't want to polish it I don't want to do anything with it because I don't want to take any uh, gold out of it so I just have to go with the process it will get beat up but why I went for this full screw motif instead of going for diamonds or anything like that is because I, lo I love the screw motif I think it's so beautiful and when you put the diamonds in place of that I think the love bracelet becomes a just just a bracelet and doesn't become a love bracelet so that's why I've chosen to go for the plain one because I just love how it looks it's quite pared down it's got this industrial look although it's pretty and it's jewelry it's got this industrial look and I like the bareness of the gold only being there. One thing that I was really surprised about and I thought that I would hate about the love bracelet is that when I tried it on um, a couple of years back I thought this will drive me crazy because I'm a person that takes off my jewelry when I go to sleep, takes off my earrings. I hate anything on me when I sleep. I literally can't fall asleep. I don't understand people who can sleep with their earrings in. How can you do this? Let me know if you're that person in the comments. But I just, rings really irritate me. That's why I don't really buy rings because I just, oh, I hate them and I get like rashes from rings as well because my fingers are very sensitive for some reason. It's just a pain. So I thought I might buy this and I might get claustrophobic and hate it. But I'm so surprised that it's really comfortable. It just feels like nothing. I forget about it. And because I got it a bit loose, I got size 17. So it's tiny but loose. It's not as tight, you know. I could have gotten a 16, but that one was literally, I couldn't turn uh, my hand because my bone would like just hit the bracelet so one thing about it is even if you're really fussy with your jewelry you probably will be fine it's not that hard to get used to it the first night i woke up two times because i was like oh i've got something on me but it wasn't uncomfortable but i was just like really surprised i was like oh oh it's okay it's a love bracelet but i was like oh metal metal on me but Apart from that, I have been completely fine and I thought that would be a problem. One thing that I did consider before purchasing it, it's, it's quite an expensive purchase. And um, I thought, do I really want a simple gold bracelet for that amount where it's not really worth it? Like if you take in the per gram per gold ratio to the price, but I just, love this design enough to buy it. I, I'm not really influenced by like, well, there is like this person who wears it and I want it. Although probably I am a little bit influenced because every one of us is influenced if we're on social media or if we're watching TV. But it's one of those things that I just really love the design of it. I really love what Cartier has done. Like my first piece was the watch because I love watches and my first ever jewelry piece was a watch for my 18th birthday. So it's something that I love and, and I think Cartier makes such elegant, beautiful, unique jewelry pieces that are just heritage pieces as well. So I love the fact that even though I'm spending quite a lot of money on this, I can give it to somebody later down the line if I don't like it and it will still have some value. It's not like a piece that just I buy from a fast fashion brand because I like it at the moment and then it's got no value. I can't do anything with it. So I love that part about it as well. One thing to note uh, also about the bracelet is that it's quite heavy. I didn't expect it to be that heavy but gold is quite heavy so you can feel the weight of it which is quite a luxurious and nice experience but if you're very sensitive to you know something being in your on your arm you might not like it as well. I would say always go and try out different sizes um, and think about what your life is like whether you would actually love it and whether you know, if you're just buying into the hype or do you actually love the design and the look of it and everything like that. Another thing that I wanted to mention for somebody who's maybe looking into the regular love 
and they are maybe thinking oh maybe I'll just be fine with a thin version from my experience because that was my thought process I was like oh maybe I can just save some money and buy the thin one the thin one it is very thin in person and the screw motifs are very little so from afar you can't really see the motifs and to me at least it doesn't look quite like a love bracelet it's nice as a complementary piece to like a bigger piece but i think if it's just by itself it gets a little bit lost and i've got quite a small wrist so i thought it would be fine but it was quite tiny um and one thing that i think really works with purchases like that is um thinking would you still want the regular love if you got a thin one that's always what i try to think about when i'm buying stuff and my answer was yeah i would still want the regular love because that's what i really wanted and asking yourself a question like that's this in the process you might actually read out um your real answer because i've seen some videos of people buying the small version of love and really disliking it after a while because they still wanted the regular version so i would actually say if you're thinking about buying a love bracelet try to opt if you can for the regular and if you still love the small one then get it as your next bracelet um, because as we all know the prices are crazy the prices are going up so it's actually long term it'll probably be better for you to get the regular now anyway save up for the regular then again getting the small one and you'll still want the regular one uh, later down the line and in my opinion the regular just by itself it's beautiful and it's simple i see a lot of people wearing tons of bracelets and that is a look too but for me i think i'm quite minimalistic in uh, my jewelry and i like maximum maybe two maximum maximum three bracelets maybe but this on its own is also a statement piece and it's beautiful the gold the yellow gold just shines like no other and i i don't regret it although like it pained me to buy it it's like oh this is so ridiculous but i love it so much and if you've been obsessing about this bracelet like me for a few years i'm sure that you will not regret it either because it is a classic it is a beautiful piece of jewelry and it's got wonderful history as well the best thing i think about this bracelet is actually that nobody knows what it is <laughs> like where I live nobody knows where it, what it is um it's super under the radar although it's you know very famous and on social media it seems like everybody has it uh, one of the things is that you know I was thinking oh maybe like I won't be safe or you know it's a it's a known bracelet with anything like that you have to be careful but actually not everything you see online is how people are in real life even like people uh, how people dress I often see on social media you know people dressing so nicely so properly so beautifully in real life that's not really the case unless you live in a big city like new york paris you know one of the main cities but really this i've only seen this bracelet once in a restaurant where i live and i don't even know if it was real because the lady had like three could have been real but this is the only time in five years that we've lived here that i've seen this bracelet so this is how actually in real life it's not that common so one thing that was putting me off a little bit of this bracelet is how common it is but actually if you're the same as me in real life not so many people own it at least in my circle so i guess i'm lucky and i can just enjoy the beauty of it without you know thinking like oh she's trying to show you know something or i don't like the aspect of luxury that you know you feel like maybe you're screaming in somebody's face oh i've got money like, i hate that but with this you can always hide it under your, under your clothes or like where i live nobody knows where it is what it is so it's really nice actually for me and um contrary to maybe what popular opinion it's actually very under the radar 
in my real life. What do you think? Do you think it's under the radar or do you think it's kind of a status symbol where you live? Do you own it? Do you also feel like it's under the radar or do you feel like it's everywhere? Let me know in the comments. If you actually live somewhere where Cartier is not available, you can actually buy it off Selfridges or Harrods here in the UK and try sizing on as well, which is a great option if you're interested. So I'll link these down below. But I was told by a say that most people are size 16 or 17. I'm size 17. I've got quite a small wrist, but I enjoy having a little bit of room within um, my bracelet. So that is the size for you and I'll see you in the next video.